Well, greetings, interwebs. I've heard tell that there's some large sporting event coming up this weekend, and that a lot of people are going to be gathering together at their homes to watch it together. Well, if you've got a lot of people coming over, you're probably going to want to serve some kind of food. So I thought I'd show you something you can do. It's quick and easy. It doesn't actually require any cooking. It's delicious, and it's actually quite healthy. Instead of just greasy hot wings, this actually has a lot of good nutritional value, not a lot of fat. It's good for you. This is something I used to make for my daughter's lunch, take to school uh, all the time when she was in middle school at Annunciation Catholic School over Middleburg. So let's uh, get to it, shall we? Okay, so here's what we're dealing with today. Chopped up cucumber, uh, drained a can of um, petite diced stewed tomatoes, chopped up a scallion, you see there, a hmm. little bit of sandwich meat, we got some ham, got some chicken breast, you can also use turkey or any brand you like, it just happens to be Oscar Mayer and I don't know, Budig, whatever that is. Large flour tortillas, creamy Italian dressing, now I like the creamy Italian, you can also use ranch, that's your call, and we've been out of fresh spinach at the grocery store here for a while because of some sort of re recall they had, I'm not sure. I was so happy when I went in the grocery store this morning and saw fresh spinach back on the shelves. I love fresh spinach, it is so good. And there you have it. Let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so this is gonna be pretty quick and easy. So I'm not cooking, I'm not gonna bother with the apron. However, comma, I got this nifty new thing. My son Nick, my daughter-in-law Nicole they got me this it's a like a chef's hat my name on it that's kind of cool you know I love kids so I thought I'd give it a try so anyway here we go start with flour tortilla I always have flour tortillas they're great you can use them to make just, I make breakfast burritos a lot basically make up scrambled eggs sausage and stuff and do the same thing I'm doing here but with breakfast ingredients Okay, so we've got our flour tortilla. We've got it on a cutting board because I'm going to be cutting. Now, like I said, the zesty Italian, or the creamy Italian. You can also use ranch if you like. I just like the creamy Italian. It's a little better flavor. We just squirt a little bit. Don't get too crazy with it because it's going to make a mess if you do. Put a little bit on the, the bottom. Now we've got our meats. You can use, this is, happens to be chicken. You can use turkey. Or you can use just whatever you like. Up to you. Just spread a little bit of that across the bottom. This is the ham. And just get, again, if you like salami, whatever. It's up to you. I just like the, oh, what the heck. We'll just overload it with ham because, <laughs> why not? Why wouldn't you? It's ham. And since we're using tortillas, I guess I can get away with not saying it's muy bueno. Okay, there's our meats. Now, and again, I was so happy to see fresh spinach back. We eat a lot of fresh spinach here. I love fresh spinach. It's healthy, it's delicious. I mean, lettuce is good, it tastes good and all, but it has absolutely no nutritional value. It's basically just wet roughage. That's about all it is. The girl, I was talking to the girl at the grocery store, Wendy Dixie this morning, and even she said what she always called it was green water so or crunchy green water yeah so now the tomatoes I like the tomatoes you can use fresh chopped tomatoes it's just I had these stewed tomatoes left over from when we did the Brunswick stew with my sister the other day so I'm gonna use it before I lose it and I'll just dump everything in there now the cucumbers Cucumbers are crunchy and you know fresh. You don't want to leave these sitting around to get mushy. But they do add a nice tasty crunch. And don't go too crazy with the scallions. You sprinkle a little over. It's just adding some flavor. And if you get too much, then it's a little too flavorful because it's still an onion. Okay, now. Now one thing I don't have that's a good thing to have. You know those long toothpicks with a little plastic colorful thing on the end of it? Those are real good to have to kind of hold things together. This is something, I don't have those. 
We're going to have to just kind of wing it. Okay, so fold it over. We're going to roll it like a burrito. You want to roll it as tightly as you can. You really want to crank this thing down tight so it'll hold together after you cut it. Okay. Now we're going to slice it up like we did the, um, the potato candy. As my sister called it, coins. Or as I like to say, do it like sushi. There you go. Now the end, the end pieces are going to be a mess, but you know they're really good. So you, that's kind of your little bonus to eat while you're making. Okay, get a little serving dish. Try to get something with a side on it. You can scoop them in there. <clears throat> I'll scoop them up with a spatula. That way they kind of hold together and set them in the tray. Now we got a tray of these little guys. You can set a second row next to them if you're making a whole bunch of them and you just fill these little trays. But basically, here's what you have. It's um, all the goodness in a little bite-sized roll. Again, much like sushi. So, mmm. And as you saw, good ingredients, nice and fresh, not greasy canned stuff. Mmm. Pardon me for eating with my mouth full. You can see all these nice fresh ingredients. They're all nice and green and red. And if you look below and you see that subscribe button, and it's red, you need to push it. If it's red, it means you're not subscribed. Why aren't you subscribed? My channel's fun. At least I try to make it fun. It, uh, come on. Hook a guy up. Click the subscribe. Subscribe. The button. The red one. It says subscribe on it. Go ahead. Click it. Click it. Click it. Ah! And just a quick addendum to give you a few other ideas. You can also add cream cheese, imitation crab meat, regular grated cheese. You can do so much with this. Just thought I'd throw that in. Eating with my mouth full? I mean, pardon me for talking with my mouth full. So, there you have it. A nice, healthy thing you can serve. And again, <clears throat> ice packages for my daughter's lunch. They're great to give to the kids. Because you saw, healthy and they taste delicious. The kids will love them. So, um, there you have it. On that very healthy, quick, and short note. <laughs> Good seeing you.